Good morning guys, check it out. I just was walking around here filming the preparation of the Polar Express for yesterday's morning show. And I walked by the Claymont Library and I've never been in here before. I love libraries and they are all disappearing. So let's go in here and check this place out together. Claymont Public Library, 4th Street, Denison, Ohio. Look at this. What do we got, a horse reading books? <laughs> While watching that Nate guy on the internet. I knew there was something I liked about that horse. Okay, let's go on in and check this out. I've not been in a library for a long time. Smart cookies read. I'm a smart cookie, but I really don't read all that often. <laughs> Hello. All right, guys, the first thing I wanna look at is the kids section. Because when I think about a library, I remember when I was a little kid, and that's what we did all the time. We'd come into the library, look for books like drawing books and stuff like that. Um, Ed Emberly drawing books. In fact, you know what? We're going to look for them right now. Okay, here's a question for you. Okay. Do you have a card catalog? You know what? Our card catalog is now on the computer. That's exactly what I expected you to say. Is it right over here? To it from those computers. Okay. Okay, great. To our library because okay. since we are now part of that consortium, you're going to be searching all kinds of libraries. Okay. So if you don't just see here, you go. You can use this. Your catalogs right there. Oh, okay. And then and I, it's already specific to claim on? It probably is not. No, see, it's all libraries oh, okay, up there because we're part of that consortium now. So okay. you would have to go down and limit it to us. This one here, district? Yes, that okay. was it. Mm -hmm. Did I choose anything in there? Oh, yeah, let's see, do this author because I want to look up. Uh, okay. Ed Emberley. You all set then? Yep, thank you're you so much. Okay, guys, yeah, look at this. We've got Ed Emberley uh, results here. Drawing book of trucks and trains, fun print drawing book. This one here is, uh, he actually makes drawings out of like finger and thumb prints. Drummer Hoff, holy crap, I forgot about Drummer Hoff. Drummer Hoff fired it off. Ed Emberley's big green drawing book. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We'd come down to the library and, and rent all these Ed Emberley drawing books. The big purple drawing book, orange drawing book. All right, let's look for this one right here. Oh, wait a minute. No copies available. Crap. Okay, well, at least we found them on the uh, in the card catalog there. Holy crap, look at this. I cannot believe this. It's right in front of me on top of the thing here. Ed Emberley's Complete Fun Print Drawing Book. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that is sitting out there right now. Guys, I was supposed to come in here today. Look at this. See, you make drawings out of thumbprints. Look at this, frogs that looks like, a fish, and it's all prints. Duck friends, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it so much. Look, there's a skeleton. Holy crap, I haven't seen this book for so long. I'm like shaking because I'm so excited. Okay, so let's keep looking here for a minute. Look at this awesome map on this carpet here. I just absolutely love the kids section. Look at that right there. That's cool. But I love the kids section of, uh, of a library. Just takes me back to being a little kid. Used to come in and get as many books as we possibly could, stack them up and take them home in a wagon. A dog needs a bone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to go to the library more often. I'm challenging everyone right now to go to your local library and just check it out. Take some pictures and post pictures of you at the library on the Facebook group, that Nate guys and gals. I want to see it, guys. In fact, I'm going to take one right now. But look at this, guys. We've got tons of uh, CDs. And I know that somewhere in here there's probably DVDs because that's, uh, you know... That's what libraries have now. I mean, obviously they have books. But, yeah, these are DVDs right here. All kinds of cool stuff. Look at this. It's just, it's so funny that I would be, like, marveled by a library. 
but libraries are disappearing. So like I said, you know, go down, check out your local library if you haven't been in one for a while. And even if you have, go check it out because it's something that's just disappearing, unfortunately. Take a picture, post it in a Facebook page. Look at this. Giant book. Encyclopedia. This reminds me of when I was in high school and we were at the library. And uh, one of my friends asked a question. And my other friend, you know, who like thought he was just so intelligent, he goes, look it up in the newspaper or the periodicals. <laughs> look, there's computers you can use to get on the internet if you want to apply for jobs or whatever. Look at the shape of this table. That is pretty awesome. All right, let's just take a walk through the aisles here. The aisles of all these books. I honestly am not a big reader, but I have always loved the library. And I've loved the look of all the books in the library. Look at these just stacked up here. This is the kind of stuff I would come into a library and just look through for the pictures. I just, I don't know, I just, when I try to read stuff, even when I'm reading the Bible, I have to read, like, things over and over and over to really, uh, to really get it in my head because things jump around. This is a pretty cool book. North American Steam Railroads. Sweet. But stuff just doesn't stick in my head. The words jump around, and, uh, and it's really tough for me. But, uh, but yeah, this is just awesome to see. It also reminds me of Ghostbusters. The beginning of Ghostbusters, where the librarian sees the ghost. eBay for dummies, oh my gosh. My iPhone for seniors. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's one for me. Aliens from space, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they have everything in the library. Oh, here's more DVDs. Yep. Tons of stuff. Nurse a uh, nursery rhymes. I thought this said nursing rhymes, and I was like, what the heck could that possibly be about? I gave the patient their meds, and now I have a head ache. <laughs> Look at the dog on the end of here. That's hilarious. The Grump Who Stole Christmas, what the heck? Yeah, look at this, these are all DVDs. They have a ton of them, both sides, all DVDs. And this is cool, I like how they did this on the top. Put the covers to the DVDs up here. Pretty cool. Magazines. And I love this little sitting area here. Where you can just kind of kick back and, and read your books or magazines or whatever. Put your laptop out here. You could even watch a DVD in here if you wanted to. Oh look, coloring pages. I'm so very tempted. Adult man sitting in a library coloring coloring pages. That would look really good. And here's books that are for sale. See what they got here. What is the lemonade trick? Remember ordering books um, from those papers that they would give you in school? I was always so excited to get those, but I never really had the money to order anything. Everybody else was ordering tons of stuff, and when it came in, the teacher would call everybody to get their stuff, and I would just be like thinking, man, I wish I had something coming. I remember one time I gathered enough change together to order a book and uh, or not even a book I think it was a poster probably one of those like cats hanging on to something that said hang in there and then uh, I ordered it and when everything came in mine still didn't come in and she gave me back my money just this handful of change that was like heartbreaking oh look at these history of Tuscarawas County Centennial History and Atlas of Tuscarawas County. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I would love to just sit here and look through that. I'll have to do that one of these days when I have some time. All right, guys, well, that was really cool. That was a fun look at the Claymont Library here in Denison. It's right across from the, uh, from the Denison Depot there where they're gonna have the Polar Express. So if you're ever in the area, come down here and check it out. And thanks to these ladies over here for letting me film in here for a little while. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the road here. That was fun though. I haven't been in a library for a long time. Goodbye horse reading a book and watching me on the internet. Wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward and let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.